Good morning, everyone. <clears throat> this morning, we are going to cover an economic subject. Seven points are introduced by Dr. Schumpeter. Schumpeter was considered one of the best economists of 19th century. <clears throat> Most of the economic books in IMBA, MBA, are there, they carry one or two chapters about Schumpeter. If you don't know anything about Schumpeter, then you don't know anything about entrepreneurship. He has discussed every minute detail, very minutely, about enterprise. Why the profit? What is the motive of the profit? How you can jack up your profit without getting into any kind of irregularities or hanky-panky? What is the purpose of profit? How you can have greater profit without raising the price of your products at all? Every single thing he has said that he will really shock you, surprise you, flabbergast you. He has actually given seven points for every successful entrepreneur. We have discussed seven characteristics before. But those characteristics were such characteristic given by Dr. Schaas. This is Dr. Schumpeter. These are different hands. Don't just discard them saying that you have already seen them. Yeah, you have seen them, but you have not read them, nor you have imbibed them. That is the signature term. This is the worst quality of our students that they just look at the title and assume that I know about it, but he knows only nothing about it. Drill, zero, nada. But he has a very good excuse for not to reading. And second to his or her lethargy, laziness, negligence, indifference, ignorance, ignoramus. This is for those <clears throat> who are aspirant students that I've written a couple of days back. My work is only for the aspirant students. If you're not aspirant students and if you're complacent, please don't open my website. Don't even take that much trouble, like Churchill has said. If you think you can do it, then you have done it. But if you think that you cannot do it, please don't even try. So this is not the cup of tea of complacent, lazy, useless, pointless, miserable humanity. This is not for miserable students, so-called students, pseudo-students. They call themselves the students, but they are actually the, actually they are the sloth lot of the nation, sloth lot. But if you are aspirant students, then don't miss even a word. Even if you repeat my article, though I never do it, never ever do it. Title may sound the same, but material is always different, language is always different, diction always different, orthography is always different, point is always different, philosophy is always different. Art and craft of expressing every single thing is different. But this is for, like I said, aspirant student. He has given four, oh, sorry, seven characteristics. Characteristic number one is reason. Now, if you don't have any kind of reason, you are lost entity. You are astray animal or minimal, astray minimal. Say, for example, you are going to, you are in high school or you are, going, you are in a college, but you don't know what degree you are actually seeking what degree you are pursuing, what kind of career you are pursuing, you don't know, then you have no reason. Sikha Prahlad has beautifully said, for us, all the Indians, the Indians have no reason what they are going to do tomorrow, next month, next year, post-graduation, post-graduation. Post they don't have any kind of reason, any kind of reason for future in hands. They don't have any future. Point number two is focused. You must be focused, whatever you decide, whatever your vision is. 
focus every ounce, every iota, every pike of jewel energy on that goal, on that reason, on that mission. If you are not focused on your goal, on your reason, then you are not going to achieve your reason. Your reason is going to hoodwink you. Definitely hoodwink you. If not today, then it will hoodwink you tomorrow. So if you don't want your goal to hoodwink you, you definitely remain focused. Point number three is plans. If you don't plan everything accordingly, and if you are like an extra minimal, moving here and there without any kind of goal, you just guide it around, around your mission, your vision, without any kind of plan. You are not going to achieve anything in your life. You are going to be loser and a sucker of your life. Point number four is start small. Whatever the goal, whatever the business, whatever profession, whatever vocation even you want to go, you start always slow and then, I mean, start small and then grow big. Don't try to jump on the cliff of the mountain, but try to take the step, try to take the stairs, try to take the ropeway and get to the cliff. Be smart, working not only hard working, not bravado, not simple Simon, but be absolutely smart, not simple tongue. Next point is, know your potential customers. Find out who are your customers and uh, get intimate with them. It's, uh, have the intimate relationship. Very good PR, personal relation and the public relation. Send them invitation wherever there is a function. Invite them, talk to them, be friendly with them, help them in every wherever or whenever they need any kind of help from you that you are only the person can help. Be friendly with them, intimate with them. Don't ignore them. Don't be indifferent like Gandhi has said. Businessman does not do any favor to customer, but customer does favor to businessman. Nobody but Gandhi has said, our own Gandhi. Point number six is perseverance. Be hardworking. If you are not hardworking, you don't achieve anything. Not even an iota. You cannot make anyone a pound or penny or a dime or dollar, nothing you can make. Without perseverance, all your efforts are useless, pointless, futile, not fertile. So perseverance is the most important thing. If I were Schumpeter, I would have put perseverance on top of all the seven characteristics. Perseverance would have been number one. Last point is build your tribe. Means your clientele, all your customer. Like for example, uh, my GA, there are about three to 400 students that I, I have been having very good, very intimate relation with. And these three to 400 students are my tribe. They have been sending me the students. Now all the students that I have, they are like mangoes. And all the previous students, three to four hundred students, I taught them and they still maintain intimate relationship. They are like my mango trees. Mango trees are growing mangoes and I have been enjoying this, those mangoes. I never get any new students, but all the ref reference students, they come, give me the reference of my previous student and this way, my institute's swing has been swinging. The swing of my GA has been swinging thanks to my tribe. My old student, three to four students are spread everywhere, in every community, in most of the cities of Gujarat and Savarashtra, and their younger brothers, sisters, all their friends and their younger brothers, sisters, Whoever needs my help, they ask them, they, where did you learn so fluent English? And they're going to tell that I learned this fluent English uh, at GA, and they come to GA. So these are the seven characteristics. 
Thank you very much for listening. See you again tomorrow. Bye.